my channel and welcome to my kitchen if you're new here. So today I have a video that's gonna give you guys a lot of snack ideas. I love making my own snack. I feel like a lot of times in the snack category, that's probably the area where all of us buy the most pre-packaged, pre-made stuff. And there's a lot of really, really simple snacks that we can make that are healthy, that are homemade, that are delicious. And um, I have so much fun putting these videos together for you guys because I think they're one of my favorites to make. So today we are going to be making a couple different kinds of snacks. As always, I will leave the recipes linked below or if they're my own recipe, I will leave the ingredients and the instructions below. And um, you could either do these in like a whole day like I'm doing today or a whole afternoon and have them all ready for the week ahead or you could even make them for appetizers to take to a football Sunday or a family gathering or anything like that. So either way, I think you're gonna find a lot of recipe inspiration today. I'm so excited about what I have planned and let's jump into cooking. The first thing that we're gonna make is some bacon egg sliders. I'm so excited to do this. Um, they're kind of like a little bite-sized egg situation. Um, they have avocado and cheddar cheese. So I'm going to put an entire dozen of eggs into a pan and hard boil them. And then I'm going to fry up probably a few slices of this bacon. Um, I'm going to be using it for something else today. So actually maybe I'll fry all of it up right um, since I need it for bacon bits as well. So I normally like to make my bacon in our air fryer, but I want these bacon pieces to be pretty flat to go into these little sliders. So I'm gonna go ahead and make them on my frying pan. All right, while the bacon is being made up and the eggs are boiling, I'm actually going to kind of make an avocado mash so I'm just gonna get these avocados all um, cut up and then I'm gonna mash them up with some salt, some garlic powder, and some dill. Okay, so the eggs are not quite boiled up yet, but I'm gonna go on to the next recipe. So we're going to make a ranch cheese ball. I love cheese balls. I don't make them nearly often enough. A lot of times we make them for holidays and family things, but I decided this week to have one of these in the refrigerator, and I'm gonna also have cut up celery and cut up these little mini uh, sweet peppers to dip into the cheese ball. So what you'll need for this is two blocks of cream cheese, a packet of ranch, some shredded cheddar cheese, some bacon bits, which are obviously frying up right now, some green onions, and some parsley. And I will type out this recipe below and leave it in the description box.
The next snack we're gonna be making is one that is on the stove top. It's also a sweet treat. So we're gonna make some pralines and these are keto friendly or if you're sensitive to having a lot of sugar, this is a great little treat. I used to make these more often, kind of forgot about them. And then this week I was really in the mood to eat these. So you need some pecans, some sweetener, some vanilla, some salt, some butter, and some cream. And you basically heat it all up on the stove top and then you're gonna put it into small circles on some parchment paper or wax paper on a cookie sheet. We are gonna make another stove top snack here in just a second, but before we do that, I wanted to go ahead and get started on um, these little smokies. So the recipe calls for a large pack of them, but I was at Aldi and they only have the smaller pack, so I grabbed two of them. This is a really simple uh, recipe. I've never made it before, but I'm excited to try it out. So it's got some apple cider vinegar, some tomato sauce, some sweetener. Um, I buy Swerve sweetener and some Worcestershire sauce, some paprika, some garlic, and some salt. And basically you just dump everything into the pressure cooker. And I'm gonna cook these up because I think this will be a great like evening snack, um, especially if you're trying to avoid sugared things. This is something that um, could be a great alternative to that. So we've got the Smokies in the pressure cooker. I put the pralines in the refrigerator to set up and get hard. Um, the cheese ball is also setting up in there and then I already put the little egg sliders away. So now we're gonna make something for those of you that really enjoy spicy things. We're gonna do a ranch buffalo popcorn mix and I think I ran across this on Pinterest and I thought it was a really great idea. So I like making my popcorn on the stove. You're gonna need roughly 12 cups. I'm not sure. I might measure it after it's popped, but I put some oil in the pan. I'm just gonna dump some of my popcorn in here and pop it up. And then I need to make a butter mixture with the hot sauce and then also a spice mixture with garlic powder, cumin, salt, and some dill. The nice thing about this is if you're somebody that doesn't really like to use ranch packets, you're not using the ranch mixture because I know there's some things in that that are like, you know, sensitive to allergies and stuff like that. So let's get this made up and I'm excited to try it and let you know what I think.
Okay, you guys, thanks so much for watching today. Oh my goodness, everything turned out so incredibly good. That little smoky recipe is one that I am going to write into my recipe book because it is definitely so delicious, especially for as healthy as it is. I mean, you can't even tell that it's technically healthy. It's so good. I'm gonna be saving that one for football Sundays for sure, and everything else turned out absolutely yummy. So I hope you were inspired, and let me know in the comments which recipe you enjoyed the most. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in my next video.